Hey, we're back for part two of the wireless video. Today we're gonna be covering the Teradek Bolt 4K. On the last video, we did the Mars 400S. The first thing that we're gonna do is go over the contents that are inside of the case. For this video, I already have all the contents outside, so I'm just gonna show you what they are. First thing we have is the transmitter and then the receiver. These are pretty easy to tell apart compared to the Mars because the smaller one will always go on the camera and the bigger one will always go on the receiving monitor. In this bag, we have five antennas for the receiver and two for the transmitter. This will be seven total. We have two right angle BNC cables or SEI cables. We have two PTAP to two pin Lima connection to power our receiver and the transmitter. We have one wall adapter, which will connect to the wall obviously, and then to the two pin receiver. We have two HDMI cables because this unit takes both HDMI and SEI. We have two Nova arms, one for it to be on camera and the other one to be next to the receiving monitor. So to start the build, I'm gonna put antennas on both the receiver and then the transmitter. These are the same as the Mars 400S, so you just screw them in. So now that we have both the transmitter and the receiver with the antennas, I'm going to start by putting the transmitter on the camera. Um, for this build, we're going to use the Red Helium AK. This camera is used for bachelor's program. I'm going to put the Noga arm on the side of the camera. That's most convenient uh, for the build and also it doesn't bother the camera operator. Transmitter onto the camera. So now that we have our transmitter onto the camera, we have two options for this specific camera. This camera has an SEI port, but it also has a HDMI port. Our transmitter also has an HDMI port and it has a SEI port. So it's up to preference at this point. For this build, I'm gonna use the SEI port. Okay. Now that we have our video cable set in, I'm gonna put the power cable for the transmitter. So that's pretty much it on the camera side. Obviously you would tuck in the cables so they look nice and they're not in the way for the camera operator. But for the purposes of the videos, I'm gonna leave it like this. The next thing I'm gonna set up is the receiver on our monitor. So I have that Noga arm on the monitor. Next, I'm gonna put the receiver on. The receiver also has an option for both BNC and HDMI. So if you have a monitor that doesn't have a BNC, then you, obviously you would go with the HDMI cable for, for this. Our monitor has built-in SEI connections, so I'm going to use the SEI port. The last thing I'm going to do is connect our receiver to the wall.
Okay, so now that everything is set up, I'm just gonna turn everything on to make sure that it connects and video is sending to each other. So on the side of both the transmitter and the receiver is a LED panel that will tell you the status. Um, it will tell you information like if it's sending video, if they're not paired with one another. If you're not getting video, then the SEI cable is wrong, the camera's off, or the port on the camera is bad. Um, but now that we have everything connected and everything turned on, we can see that we are receiving a uh, picture from the camera. Cool. So that's pretty much it for the build of the Terra Deck. Uh, it's pretty simple, very similar to our Mars 400 kit. The system can be used for either video village, director's monitor, or if you have a first AC pulling focus. That's pretty much it for our Terra Deck kit. Uh, it's pretty similar to our Mars 400 kit that we did on a prior video. I hope you guys found this video very informational and I hope to catch you on the next one.